Enter the Dragon, a 1973 martial arts film, marked a significant milestone in the genre's history. The movie not only showcased Bruce Lee's remarkable skills, but also laid the groundwork for future martial arts films. As you delve into the story, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions, funny, shocking, and even sad facts are about to unfold. Ever wondered about lesser known anecdotes that add a fascinating layer to this cinematic gem? Have you ever been personally inspired or impacted by this influential film? Share your stories in the comments below. Whether it's a moment of awe or a life-changing experience, we want to hear your cherished memories related to this classic. So, are you ready for the journey into the intriguing world of Enter the Dragon? Keep watching for more surprises and don't forget to share your own experiences. Your stories await in the comments section below. Enter the Dragon, a 1973 martial arts film, has left an enduring mark on the genre. The movie, handled with care and evident enthusiasm by its makers, stands as a pure form of martial arts cinema. Despite a somewhat tedious plot, the film is a lot of fun to watch, showcasing impressive fight scenes. Notable moments include Lee's adept disarming of an assailant wielding a bow staff and his intimidating display with a nunchaku. For many viewers, this film holds a special place, with Bruce Lee's iconic presence leaving a lasting impact. The martial arts legend's influence extends beyond the screen, inspiring countless individuals to explore disciplines such as karate, kickboxing, and weightlifting. Even today, more than 50 years after Lee's passing, his name remains universally recognized. A testament to Enter the Dragon's cultural impact is the familiar gesture of giving a thumbs up, a simple yet iconic act that may have originated from the film. The significance of this subtle communication underscores the enduring legacy of Bruce Lee and his contribution to popular culture. The film is praised as a classic martial arts movie, setting the standard for the genre. Bruce Lee's unique style, brashness, and boldness brought a different flair to martial arts cinema, appealing not only to traditionalists, but also capturing the admiration of Western audiences. He was more than just an actor, he was an icon, a generational figure, and for many, there'll never be another Bruce Lee. In conclusion, Enter the Dragon remains a timeless classic, a cinematic experience that transcends generations and continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. It stands as a benchmark for martial arts films thanks to Bruce Lee's unparalleled contributions to the genre. John Saxon's inclusion in the cast of the 1973 martial arts film was based on his karate expertise, holding a black belt. The movie's realistic portrayal of street scenes was achieved by enlisting actual residents of Hong Kong as extras. Throughout the production, Bruce Lee and producer Raymond Chow clashed over control and communication. Disagreements led to Lee abruptly leaving the set at times. Lee believed Chow was attempting to assert dominance over the film, feeling uninformed about their partnership's intricacies. Chow, on the other hand, saw business decisions as his responsibility, asserting that he didn't need Lee's input on every matter, urging Lee to focus on acting. These behind-the-scenes dynamics added tension to the creation of a film that would go on to become a martial arts classic. The clash between Lee's artistic vision and Chow's business approach played a role in shaping the movie, influencing both its production and the final product. In the world of filmmaking, such conflicts between artistic vision and business considerations are not uncommon. Enter the Dragon, despite its challenges, went on to leave an indelible mark on martial arts cinema, showcasing the complexity inherent in the collaboration between creative minds and business acumen. In a candid sparring session, Bruce Lee found himself in an armbar, humorously stating, why, I'd bite your leg, of course. This offbeat encounter inspired a memorable moment in the film where Roper, played by Lee, employs the unconventional tactic against Bolo. Surprisingly, Lee and Jim Kelly's characters, Lee and Williams, share no on-screen interaction in the movie. Their paths diverge, adding an interesting layer to the narrative. Bruce Lee, portraying a secret agent, expressed a desire to use a gun in a scene. However, the producers dismissed the idea, leading to genuine on-screen irritation from Lee. The annoyance captured on camera reflects the clash between artistic vision and external constraints. These anecdotes from the production shed light on the dynamic choices and challenges faced during the creation of the martial arts classic. 
Bruce Lee's unconventional approach and clashes with the producers contributed to the film's unique flavor, showcasing the intricate dance between creativity and practicality in filmmaking. Bruce Lee took the helm in directing the opening Shaolin Monastery fight sequence of the film. This marked a significant moment in the movie, showcasing Lee's directorial prowess in crafting intense martial arts scenes. Notably, Enter the Dragon made history as the first Chinese martial arts film produced by a major Hollywood studio. The film broke new ground, bridging the East-West cinematic collaboration and contributing to the popularization of martial arts on the global stage. The soundtrack of the film achieved remarkable success, selling over 500,000 copies and earning a coveted gold record. And this accomplishment speaks to the widespread appeal of Enter the Dragon, extending beyond the visual elements to the auditory, making it a cultural phenomenon. In summary, Bruce Lee's directorial contribution, the groundbreaking Hollywood production, and the successful soundtrack underscore Enter the Dragon's impact on martial arts cinema and its cultural influence. Fights erupted on set among stuntmen and extras hired from rival triad families, adding real-life tension to the production. Meanwhile, Bruce Lee personally trained the actresses portraying Han's daughters, ensuring they could convincingly overpower John Saxon on screen. According to Robert Wall, Lee's unconventional approach extended beyond fight scenes. Wall revealed that Bruce Lee used cannabis during filming, keeping a jar of brownies on his desk for between-take snacking. These offbeat details provide a glimpse into the actor's unique working style. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes, sourced from reputable accounts, contribute to the intricate dynamics of Enter the Dragon's production. From on-set skirmishes to Bruce Lee's hands-on training methods and unconventional habits, these elements enrich the narrative of the martial arts classic, shedding light on the challenges and unique choices that shaped the film. Bruce Lee's influence wasn't limited to fighting sequences. He also took charge of directing the opening Shaolin Monastery fight, showcasing his directorial prowess. The film, as the first major Hollywood production of its kind, broke new ground in bridging East-West cinematic collaboration. Additionally, the successful soundtrack, selling over 500,000 copies, adds another layer to Enter the Dragon's global impact, making it a cultural phenomenon. In summary, Enter the Dragon's production was marked by real-life conflicts, hands-on training, and unique behind-the-scenes habits. Bruce Lee's impact extended beyond his on-screen presence, shaping both the film's narrative and its lasting cultural influence. Made on a budget of 850000 the 1973 film turned box office sensation, raking in over $90 million worldwide. Warner Brothers initially toyed with alternative titles like Hans Island, Blood and Steel, and The Deadly Three, considering them less confusing for international audiences than an action movie titled Enter the Dragon. Bruce Lee, driven by a desire to showcase the beauty of his Chinese culture, molded the film into more than just another action flick. Bruce Lee's vision clashed with Warner Brothers' preferences, but the movie prevailed as a cultural phenomenon, its impact stretching beyond the box office numbers. The film served as Lee's vehicle to express his cultural pride, embodying the delicate dance between artistic expression and commercial success. The clash of ideas behind the scenes mirrored the clashes portrayed on screen, adding layers to the film's narrative. The success of the soundtrack, selling over half a million copies, spoke to the movie's widespread appeal. In the realm of martial arts cinema, Enter the Dragon marked a groundbreaking moment. Bruce Lee, not only a charismatic lead, but also a directorial force, crafted intense fight sequences. The film's unique flavor stemmed from real-life conflicts among stuntmen and Lee's unconventional training methods, going beyond fight scenes to even his offbeat habits. This cinematic creation wasn't just another action film, it became a testimony to the intricate dynamics between culture, creativity, and commercial success in filmmaking. In conclusion, the 1973 film, with its modest budget, transcended expectations, making a lasting mark on global cinema. The clash between Bruce Lee's vision and Warner Brothers' suggestions added layers to the film, reflecting the broader tension between cultural expression and commercial viability. The success of the soundtrack and the film's historical significance underscore Enter the Dragon's enduring cultural influence.